What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, here with Saltwater Sportsman Magazine, and today, we're gonna flay up a wahoo. All right, first thing you wanna do when flaying your wahoo is pick up the pectoral fin, go behind the head at a hard angle, lots of good meat behind the head on those wahoo, flip your knife around, and make one more incision separating at the belly right behind the pelvic fin. Instead of starting this direction behind the head and working our way down like we normally do, we're gonna start anywhere around here, make a slight incision, pull all the way forward. Just like tuna, there is a harder part of the skin right here. And when you start from back and you pull forward, you can get yourself a nice little momentum cuts through the skin easier. When you start off that way, you're not gonna have any momentum and you're gonna be working it a little bit too much and you're gonna create some tears in the meat. So now that you have that opening incision, you wanna just rest your knife right on top of the skeleton and pull towards the head, letting the skeleton guide your knife. We started our opening right here, so we're gonna to have to flip our knife around right here and do that same motion. After those two motions, you can see we ran along the skeleton beautifully now we want to do one more long one. Make sure you're all the way to the center. Now you can get a nice lift on your fillet and we're going to do a slight incision going on the top of that spine. That way as we lift on our fillet, there's no tear in the meat and we can hit the second side without losing any meat. Now we're going to stick the tip of our knife at the base of the ribs, angle it slightly up. Separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Tip of the knife right at the base of where those uh, rib bones end. Do that motion one more time. There we go. You can see the end of the rib bones right here. We're gonna rest our knife right on top of those. Continue sliding down. That way we don't get any of those rib bones in our filet and boom, there you go. Got the first side of your wahoo off. Tiniest little bit there for dock snacks, but that's about it. All right, we're gonna remove the belly. On a lot of fish, we think of belly as the fattiest, best part of the fish. That is the case in a lot of species. On wahoo, they get these little parasites that we call Hershey Kisses, and they are absolutely nasty. It's not like amberjack or swordfish spaghetti worms, which are totally safe when you cook them. These things you do not wanna eat. Look at that. Look what it did to the knife, too. Those things are absolutely disgusting. Uh, use your wahoo bellies for bait whatever, but if you eat them, please be careful and make sure you don't get any of those Hershey Kisses in your meal. They're nasty. All right, flaying the second side of Oahu. First thing we're gonna do, flip it over. We're gonna start with the same cuts as before, going all the way behind the head. Now we're gonna flip it back over and we're gonna fillet it upside down. Wahoo is a delicate meat. And if you're pulling on the meat constantly while you're filleting it, you're gonna have a lot more opportunity to tear the meat and have it fall apart. If you flay the second side upside down, you can be pulling on the skeleton instead of the meat and it prevents tearage in your wahoo. Check it out. All right, we're gonna make a small incision just like before. We're gonna slide all the way down. And there's a little bit of hard cartilage right here just like on tuna. So we want a little bit of momentum when we're hitting that spot. Now that we've got that opening, we can rest our knife right on the skeleton. You can even see it peeking through. Gently lift on the skeleton as you're coming through. Slight incision to the top of that spine. We're gonna flip our knife around, hit the tail section, same thing. Now that we're at the center, tip of the knife, go to the top of the spine. We're gonna break the connection that pin bones make to the ribs. Now, because we went to the top of the spine, we can hit the second side at a hard angle, making sure we don't lose any of that delicious wahoo meat. And just like that, look at that. Zero tears in any of that wahoo meat. All we gotta do now is get the rest of those rib bones out of there, boom. Here's the second side of our wahoo skeleton, picked clean, y'all. More important than picked clean, Look at that, zero tears in the high loin of that beautiful wahoo meat. We're gonna remove these ribs by sliding our knife underneath, getting as close to those rib bones as we can. And on wahoo, I don't worry about getting all the belly meat off because I'm not trying to eat any Hershey Kisses. 
Now, a lot of people have trouble skinning Wahoo, and I don't blame you. Here's why. At no point is the entirety of the Wahoo skin coming in contact with the cutting board. So if you're laying your knife flat on the skin and sliding down, obviously the skin on the sides of the fish are going to get left on. You're only going to get the skin off the bottom. It's an easy way to remedy that. Cut your Wahoo into sections. Go from the middle out. There you go. Gorgeous piece of Wahoo. And we could take out that little bit of bloodline while we're there anyways, because why not? Go from the middle, out. And if you're cutting your Wahoo that way, it's super easy not to cut through the skin and that triangle of bloodline in the middle, you get that out of there too. That's how I fillet and skin the prized Wahoo. The fish that everybody goes crazy over. I have met very few local fishermen that don't say this is their favorite fish raw, but me, this is not my personal favorite raw. Uh, there, there's some other mackerels like Spanish mackerel that I would take over Wahoo raw. I know, controversial opinion, but it's for a consumer in a market, it's also a less expensive option, so that's pretty sweet. But if you're catching them yourselves, I mean, I'd rather catch a Wahoo over a Spanish mackerel any day of the week. I also like Wahoo better cooked than I like Spanish mackerel cooked. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we cut up a Wahoo together. Saltwater Sportsman, thanks for having me. Have a killer day, y'all.